A family grounded in their faith wants peace and answers about their son's death. Why is my son gone today? Why? All lives matter. This is not a black thing. My brother didn't see color. There are certain events in our community that really shape us, and today was one of those. The family of Corey Jones held an emotional news conference, followed by a two-hour-long rally for answers outside Palm Beach Garden City Hall. Let's talk about the bombshells we learned today. Jones' family attorney, Benjamin Crump, says the police officer rolled up on Corey in a white, unmarked van with tinted windows, wearing jeans, a T-shirt, and a baseball cap. He had no badge. He fired his gun six times, three of those. Shots hit Corey, and Crump says at some point Corey was running away. The ha family had just minutes to absorb all that information before they were thrust in front of a throng of media live on TV, and every second they exuded love for Corey in their words, in their actions, even in their body language. CBS 12's Lauren Hills continues our live team coverage with more on that. Lauren. Liz, it was highly emotional to watch Corey Jones's family talk about him. The love they have, very clear. Corey, 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 my only brother. Clinton Jones was the first to speak this morning about missing his brother, Corey. He was the kindest, the closest, the happiest person ever. Jones's sister talked about Corey's love of playing the drums and music in general. He will make drums out of books, pans, it didn't matter. He made some drums. His family speaks of Corey as kind-hearted, someone who always obeyed the laws and always had a smile or a joke. For Corey's father, it's an especially difficult time as he also has to bury his own mother this week. Still, many questions remain in Corey's case and a heartbroken family is calling for answers. So today, I need some answers. I need to know why, why is my son is gone today, why? The family also often referenced their faith in terms of trying to get through this. They tell me that Jones's funeral will be next Saturday. Live in West Palm Beach, I'm Lauren Hills reporting. Back to you, Liz. What a difficult ordeal for the family. Well, thank you, Lauren. Now, the family reiterated one powerful phrase at both today's news conference and again at the rally that followed. It was simply, all lives matter. What we saw here today couldn't have been more different from the Black Lives Matter movement we saw devastate Baltimore months ago. CBS 12's Melissa Howell is live in Palm Beach Gardens with today's powerful message and the elegant way it was delivered. Melissa? Liz, you know, the hashtags All Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter has sparked conversation all across social media, all across states. And since the death of Corey Jones, that conversation has been started again, but this time from the point of view of Corey's brother. One of the most powerful hashtags dominating the world of social media today, Black Lives Matter. Now, Corey Jones's big brother, CJ, shining a new light on the controversial quote, All Lives Matter. Somebody might not be that color. All lives do matter. CJ stood before the crowd asking for solidarity and acceptance of all lives, reminding protesters to never measure the value of life by the color of one's skin. A similar message delivered by other elected officials that received a very different response. The crowd is basically, you know, African-American crowd. So when you say that and don't include, you know, everybody, then, you know, you can kind of like take a person. Corey's family says they hope this message of respect for life will allow transparency into Corey's death and make way for change. Now, Corey's family tells me they are hopeful that this message and this protest today will encourage change, but they are still searching for answers. For now, we're live in Palm Beach Gardens, Melissa Howell, CBS 12 News. Thank you, Melissa. And the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department just released this statement. It reads, we share in their sorrow and desire for all of the facts related to this tragedy to be known. We also respect the peaceful and genuine expressions. Also today, Governor Rick Scott spoke about Corey Jones' death. Every death's a tragedy. I mean, I, I don't, uh, I think about any time you have a, uh, a young person die, I think about my family. I've got uh, kids 30 and 33. You just can't imagine that.
Governor Scott says he has spoken to the state attorney, FDLE, Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw, and the Palm Beach Gardens police chief, and says he is confident they will get to the bottom of what exactly happened and will take the appropriate action if needed. To see more pictures, listen to the speakers at today's rally, and to read more about the investigation, head to our website, CBS12.com. It's all right there for you on our homepage. Listen up, South Florida. Vista BMW has the new BMWs you want at a price you'll love. Sign and drive a new 2015 BMW 320i. Zero down, just $329 a month. And your first payment is waived. Or a new 2015 BMW 528i. Zero down, $499 a month. You don't want to miss the incredible deals on the hundreds of new BMWs we have in stock. Hurry to Vista BMW today, where luxury meets value.